Hi Virgo, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards what awaits for you in love for October 30th to November 5th, 2023. I'm going to take a look at your energy, Virgo, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, here we go. So let's take a look at your energy first. Spirit angels and guides, please show me the energy of Virgo in regards to love for this week. October 30th to November 5th, 2023. Thank you, Spirit. It's the energy of Virgo, please, in regards to love. Virgo. Just get one shuffle. Okay. All right, Virgo, first card we have for you is the Four of Cups. Okay. Tell me more. What's the energy of Virgo? We also have the Nine of Pentacles. We also have the Death card at the bottom of the deck. Strength, Fool, Magician. And here we have the Ten of Swords. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know why you're looking at the death card. That's interesting. So I am noticing how you're kind of looking at the death card. Nine of Pentacles is the energy of Virgo. And like I said, you're looking over here at the death card. Kind of looks like someone is resurfacing for you. Um, someone who you experience some sort of break with or a separation or um, an ending of some kind. It does kind of look like someone is resurf resurfacing here with the fool and the magician. I kind of feel like this is who you're dealing with. Could be a Gemini uh, or, or an Aries or another Virgo. With the strength card, um, you're definitely very hesitant. About this person. Hmm. All right, I'm going to clarify See what's going on here ten of swords page of wands king of swords okay i see why i see why king of swords and the king of wands to the page of wands to the ten of swords someone is definitely resurfacing from from the dead you know this is someone who you who, who you broke things off with or you separated from you disconnected from and they're coming back. Hmm. You might not know how what to think about it with the Four of Cups. You might be a little bit indecisive about how you feel, you know, with, with this person's return. All right, let's clarify. Star. Oh, you see? Look at that. Here it is. Look at that. Yeah, look at that, Ace of Wands. You're indecisive. Three of Swords to the Seven of Pentacles and the Star. You're not really sure how to feel about this. You don't know if you should feel good about it or if you should feel bad about it because um, it does look like you have history with this person and it, and it does look like this is someone who caused you pain or disappointment. But at the same time, with the star card, this is someone who you do still have feelings for. Okay. All right. Let's clarify. Ace of Wands, they're taking action towards you. All right, Spirit, tell me about the Nine... Uh, four of Cups to the Nine of Pentacles. 
connected to Virgo's energy here. Four of Cups to the Nine of Pentacles. All right, we have the Seven of Pentacles. So it kind of looks like ever since you separated from this person, you've been really focused on yourself and really focused on creating um, stability for yourself and um, your work, your career, finances. Tell me more about the Four of Cups to the Nine of Pentacles. You've been keeping busy with yourself ever since you separated or disconnected from this person. We have the Five of Cups. Again, this is someone who did cause you grief and disappointment. Tell me more about the Four of Cups to the Nine of Pentacles and Virgo's energy. And we do have the Page of Swords. So yeah, you're questioning, what is this person doing? What does this person want? Why are they resurfacing? You're questioning it. So some of you thought you would never see this person again or hear from this person again. So yeah, I do feel like there's a little bit of a surprise energy connected to you. I don't think you quite expected to hear from them. Hmm. All right, let's see the strength card connected to your energy. Cause I do feel like this is your person the fool and the magician, whoever it is that's resurfacing here, um, they, they're definitely trying to have a new beginning with you. They're trying to manifest a new beginning with you. And this is your reaction to them, the strength card. So why are you reacting that way? Let's see. Tell me about the strength card connected to Virgo's energy. Yeah, again, if there's something like some of you thought you would never hear from them. Again, we have the Ten of Cups. Oh, okay. Uh, again, I do feel like you still have feelings for this person, Virgo, with the Ten of Cups. This is someone who you did want to ultimately have a successful relationship with. Whenever you were connecting to this person, you, that was your goal. That was your aim. That's what you were looking for. A successful, long-term relationship. Happily ever after. Tell me more about the strength card connected to Virgo. Yeah, and it kind of looks like that didn't happen with the Ten of Swords. Um, your hopes and your wishes, it just didn't manifest. It didn't work out with this person. Mm -hmm. But it's interesting, Virgo, because you're in this limbo energy a little bit with the Four of Cups and the Strength card. Um, now this person is resurfacing and you're a little bit in this gray area should I be happy or should I not be happy? Because you're thinking about everything you went through with this person. And it wasn't good. So, But at the same time, it's almost like you still have feelings for them. Strength card is a card of love. So there is still love that you have for this person regardless of what they did or what happened between the two of you. So I feel like you're a little bit conflicted here. You're conflicted about how you should feel. You're in a 50-50 type of energy. More than anything, I feel like you're a little bit confused as to why they're resurfacing. Because again, it's like you thought this was like over for good and you didn't expect to hear from them. Okay, let's see.
Hmm. It kind of looks like this person left you hanging. It has that type of vibe. It's almost like someone who left you hanging. Someone who, who didn't quite reciprocate your feelings and intentions when you were connecting with this person. Hmm. So the relationship never really got anywhere. All right, let's look at this person's energy here. Come here, cards. All right. Let's see who this is. Queen, uh, King of Wands to the King of Swords, male or female. Um, could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, or an air sign. Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. Tell me about this person's energy here, Spirit. King of Wands to the King of Swords. Their energy towards Virgo here. Interesting. We do have the Ace of Cups connected to their energy. So, okay. Well, I said that, didn't I? I already said that this person is trying to manifest a new beginning with you. And we have it here as... Double confirmation that this person is trying to have a new beginning with you. All right. Let's go over to their side now. Let's see. All right. What do I want to use here, Spirit? Let's use this deck here. All right. Spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of this person that Virgo is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week. What is this person's energy towards Virgo for this week? What is this person's energy towards Virgo this week? First card we have for them. Here we go again. Ace of Cups again. Confirmation. They want a new beginning with you. An emotional new beginning. Okay. Mm. Tell me more, Spirit. What's this person's energy towards Virgo this week? We also have the Judgment card. Confirmation. This person is resurfacing in your life. They want a second chance with you. Judgment is all about second chances. All right. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Let's get one more here. What is this person's energy towards Virgo this week? And we have the Ten of Swords. So again, it looks like you two went through some sort of breakup, separation, ending with the Ten of Swords. Um, Why, do we, why does it look like you were more affected by this ending than they were? This, person's, this person owes you an apology. I can already see it here. It feels like they played with your heart. It feels like they strung you along. It feels like they made you believe something that wasn't really true. Like they strung you along um, and created some sort of illusion, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look like this person was as affected as, as you were affected or as disappointed as you were disappointed. Hmm. All right, bottom of the deck in this person's energy towards the Virgo for this week. We have the Page of Pentacles. We also have the Seven of Wands. And we also have the Nine of Swords. And here's that Seven of Cups. You know, you're very conflicted, Virgo. And I feel like it's your intuition, you know. I don't see the High Priestess here, but I, I feel the energy of like, your intuition trying to speak to you. Because this is not a, 
a normal reaction, just like in comparison to their energy, your reaction seems a little bit um, off. Like, um, what do you call that? What am I trying to say? It just feels like the, the, your reaction doesn't match their energy. And I don't like that. Your reaction doesn't match their energy at all. Well, there's the High Priestess. High Priestess, King of Cups. Ace of Wands, Queen of Swords, Seven of Cups. So, um, like I said, they are resurfacing, wanting a second chance, the Page of Pentacles. Um, they are definitely going to come towards you wanting to settle settle something with you, wanting to like um, extend out an olive branch and create a, a, st a stable connection with you. And your immediate inclination is to reject this person, is to block them, to protect yourself from this person. Or, But it doesn't look like you're um it doesn't look like you're overreacting. It doesn't look like you're like it doesn't look like it's coming from a place of fear. Not like not really. It doesn't really look like it's coming from a place of fear. It looks like it's coming from a place of your intuition. Your guides or someone protecting you someone trying to protect you some sort of external energy that is around you that is kind of trying to like guide you towards blocking this person to be completely honest hmm some sort of divine protection is connected to you. All right. What is this page of pentacles in, in their energy towards Virgo? This person's energy towards Virgo? I don't know. I'll, I'll look into that a little bit just to make sure. Hmm. What's the page of pentacles in their energy towards Virgo? We have the seven of cups again. Okay. We also have the Queen of Pentacles and we have the Moon. Yeah, this person wants to know if, if it's too late or not. If it's too late for them or not to, to have a new beginning with you. They want to know if, if, there's, if you're still available, if you still want them, if you're still interested in them. That's what they're coming towards you um, with or wanting to find out. Okay, that's what they want to find out. So tell me about the Seven of Wands to the Nine of Swords um, connected to Virgo. Ten of Pentacles. Six of Cups, Three of Pentacles. Yeah, it just kind of looks like you had the best intentions with this person. You know, you had the best intentions to build a relationship with this person. Three of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. It does look like you um, you felt a very strong soulmate connection with this person. You were definitely hopeful. I feel like you were hopeful for um, a, a successful outcome between you and this person. But it almost looks like this person pulled the, the rug from under your feet. It has that type of energy, like someone who just switched on you someone who switched on you they switched up on you and i feel like it, it left you feeling pretty devastated with the ten of swords and you know really disappointed and i feel like this person is coming towards you as if nothing ever happened Or either that, or they're kind of oblivious to how you really feel. 
does look like they're a little bit oblivious. I am going to look into their intentions in the extended reading, but just in the general energy right now, it just looks like they're kind of oblivious. I mean, that's one option. I'm not saying that's that's what it is, but that, that is one possibility that they're oblivious to how you really feel. It's that or they or they're just wanting to pretend like nothing existed because or uh, sorry, nothing ever happened between the two of you. Nothing bad ever happened between the two of you because, you know, they're just trying to finesse. It's almost like they're just trying to finesse the situation, if you know what I mean. I don't know how to how to say it in in, a, in another way. Like they're just trying to like weasel their way back into your life, without really, you know, without really taking any responsibility for what happened between the two of you, or for how they affected you and how they they impacted you. Like they don't really want to talk about it. They don't want. To, they don't really want to acknowledge it or take responsibility. They just kind of want to quietly weasel their way back into your life. You know that type of energy. Tell me more about this person here, um, coming towards Virgo, resurfacing for Virgo. Tell me more about this person, Spirit. So we do have the Knight of Cups connected to this person. Um, okay. Again, they want to get something going with you. With you, they want to. They want to have a new beginning here with you. But why are they so relaxed? Is what I want to know. You don't seem very relaxed, and they and and they're very relaxed. Why are they so relaxed? Tell me more about this person. Ten of Cups. Knight of Pentacles. Justice. Five of Swords, Knight of Wands. Yeah, you don't have a very good outlook on this person. Five of Swords. You feel like this person tricked you or played games with you. And yeah, there's something about them coming towards you as if nothing ever happened. As if they never switched up on you. As if they never left you hanging, you know. As if they never ghosted you. It's weird, you know? Anyway, all right, Virgo, I'm going to stop the reading right here, and I'm going to continue now in the extended reading. In the extended reading, I'm going to take a deeper look at this person, and I'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you, what are their true and real intentions with you, and then I'll take a look at what actions will they end up taking towards you moving forward and just the overall outcome. All right, if you're interested, you can follow me there with the link below the video in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.